Boeing is wanting to make some large changes to the freshest and longest variation of their Dreamliner family, the 787X, and this time the intention looks clear and deliberate. The plane producer needs to wrestle best position from the grip of Airbus's A35900 in the high traveler limit long stretch market. Now Boeing has of late uncovered plans to foster a high gross weight form of their 787X wide body airplane, which just put is an A350 executioner. So what changes has Boeing made to turn the 787X into an A350 executioner to really comprehend the progressions they're making to the setup? We first need a brief prologue to the 787 Dreamliner family. You see, the 787 Dreamliners, which were first declared in 2003, turned into the world's most memorable cutting-edge business fly carriers when the main airplane in the arrangement took off back in 2009. They were created by Boeing to be comprehensive, likely more effective than their more established age airplane. For example, the 767 and Tri-7 setups, and could accomplish this in part due to being the primary carriers with air outlines, basically comprised of composite materials, as well as their broad use of electrical frameworks. There are numerous variations of the Dreamliner setup. However, for this video, we'll just be investigating three. The 787s, 8, 9, and 10. The 7878 was the very first Dreamliner from that first flight in 2009 and was additionally quick to enter administration. It was planned to supplant Boeing's maturing 76700 Trauma Center and rival Airbus's A33200. Eventually, marketing came with a limit of around 220 travelers with a scope of simply finished 7,350 nautical miles. The 7879 is essentially an extended rendition of the B788. Yet additionally, a company's gotten to the next level primary steadiness and a lengthy fuselage which permits it to situate up to 259 travelers in a three-class course of action and furthermore fly over in further developed scope of a little more than 7,600 nautical miles, it was Boeing's response for the maturing of their 767-300 emergency room. And presumably, most eminently, they contend in fundamentally similar business sectors as some of Airbus's A330 carriers like the 300 and the 900. Lastly, generally critical to this video is Boeing's most recent expansion to the Dreamliner family. The 787X, the 787X was conceived out of interest from carriers like Challenge and Emirates who felt that they required extra traveler conveying limit as well as a new sets of wings for their long stretch flights. And they got their desire in the 2013 Paris flying demonstration when Boeing sent off the carrier as a substitution to the 77,000. Laying it out plainly, the 787X which took its most memorable trip in 2017, is a further extended variant of the 7879, and this makes it the longest 787 variation. Up until this point, its more extended fuselage implies it could situate more travelers around 336 in a two-class lodge design, which puts it immovably in the high traveler limit, long stretch market, alongside airplanes like Airbus A35900. Anyway, the additional fuselage comes with an unfriendly compromise. A misfortune in range, the 787X, can accomplish a reach of 6.33 nautical miles, which puts it at the lower part of the Dreamliner family, notwithstanding the way that it played an unmistakable job in transoceanic travel. Pre-pandemic, the reach in a carrier the size of the 787X is very significant also, regardless of whether Boeing claims that it offers preferable financial aspects over the A350, which it should be in rivalry with the financial matters, is outrageously restricted to more limited courses. This lack in range has made the 787X to be the least effective in that Dreamliner arrangement so far representing just 10% of the units sold anyway. Boeing isn't one to step down, and therefore they've uncovered plans to do whatever it takes and up those stakes with a high gross weight variant of the 787X. This adaptation is set to accompany a more extended territory and payload, and that implies it'll likewise accompany expanded fuel limit and a higher, most extreme departure weight. As a matter of fact, the bad habit leader of business advertising at Boeing Darren Hulst uncovered that they mean to include 6.4 metric tons, 
the 787X, which would build its most extreme departure weight by very nearly 12,000 pounds. The extra reach has driven the high gross weight rendition of the 787X to be named as the 7871, with emergency room being a shortening for expanded range. This high gross weight form of the 787X has the potential to be an outright A350 executioner. In addition, these progressions are important to the 787X. Yet before we go into why changes to the 787X are essential, we should do a brief examination between the base 787X and ostensibly its primary rival, the A35900. Now with regards to seating the A350 edges, the 787X in a two-class design, because of its more extensive and longer fuselage anyway, under certain conditions, the two airplanes can house fundamentally a similar, most extreme sum of travelers and freight. We definitely have some familiarity with the scope of the current 787X, being the most minimal in the Dreamliner setup, and surprisingly more terrible for Boeing. It's really lower than each airplane in the A350 setup too. You see Boeing forfeited range for limit. Furthermore, a move has returned to nibble them. The A350 has better fuel limit, which is normal since it has a lot higher reach. Yet strangely, the 787X has a superior fuel consume rate, which means further developed fuel effectiveness over the A350. Anyway, the A350 has the 787X beat in many classes. Understanding this Boeing returned to the planning phase also, did what should have been finished to further develop deals and transform the 787X into an imposing rival at the A350. These progressions were fundamental since a ton of carriers have shied away from buying the 787X, as there are numerous airplanes that can convey as numerous travelers through a further distance with, without making a landing. So by enhancing the reach, has Boeing made the 787X seriously engaging? However, that is not all asides the issue of reach. There's likewise a requirement for carriers working the transoceanic market to supplant their maturing Boeing. 777 Armadas. You see bigger, higher reach. 787X would be wonderful to take the place of, for model the 7772, 200 Trauma Center, and 777-200 LR, as administrators would have no need to utilize new pilots. But since of the fly-by wire framework, all the more critically high gross weight 787X could likewise be great for flying from and among hot and high air terminals because of its synthesis and configuration, making it an optimal airplane for monster aircrafts like Emirates and Anat aircrafts. Boeing understood this and Dove had him first to turn the 787X into a monster. And it shows as per some examination, the scope of the 787X would get an increase in very nearly 11,000 nautical miles. And this unexpectedly changes everything since this lengthy reach puts it comparable to the 777-200 emergency room. As we said before, however, that is not all you see. The additional reach would permit the 787X to partake in a more noteworthy payload advantage over its principal rival, the AI-35900. Also that the new 787X has 19 additional seats than the A350, driving to a practically 8% decrease in cost per seat, these progressions can end up being a significant fiasco for Airbus and a huge success for Boeing as the diminished functional expenses and an expansion in eco-friendliness for the 787X makes it more engaging for aircrafts to settle on the new 787X. There are even plans by going in to foster a high gross weight form of their 7,879 setup, which could be a possible executioner to Airbus's A330 family. Anyway, it's yet to be perceived the way in which that one would end up, or on the other hand, on the off chance that it at any point turns into a reality. Yet with different changes set to come to the 787X, it's left to be perceived how viable they may be in reversing the situation, just expanding the reach and payload of the 787X wouldn't supernaturally work on the marketing projections. And Boeing knows this, the present moment, the interest is to some degree higher for narrow-body long-stretch airplanes, which have higher paces and could arrive on most runways. And yet there will continuously be a requirement for wide-body airplanes because of how much individuals and freight they can convey, as well as their eco-friendliness. 
So when the reach is arranged with the high gross weight 787 by X, you can anticipate a major expansion in orders for the 787X. And it's nothing unexpected, truly. You see that is on the grounds that there's a entire host of aircrafts with maturing Tri-7 Armadas who might in a perfect world pick a 787X adaptation that way. Carriers wouldn't require to prepare pilots to comprehend the controls, making it a mutually beneficial arrangement for both Airbus and Bo. Like truth be told, Air New Zealand have committed to buy eight of them because of their need to supplant their maturing 77 Armada, also as an expanded interest for U.S. administrations, albeit the conveyance demand has been moved back to 2024 due to aftermaths from the CO9 pandemic anyway. One significant issue Boeing could look with the odds of coming out on top of the new 787X would be Boeing themselves. You see, they have been tormented by different issues which have constrained them to suspend conveyance Tunis of the Dreamliners in the past, this has prompted impressively estimated accumulations, where numerous carriers have needed to stand by longer than they expected for their airplanes to show up. Assuming this occurs again with the 787X, the outcomes may be major for Boeing and not in a positive way. So what do you believe it's left to be checked? Whether the new 787X will end up being an A350 executioner? particularly as Airbus keeps on making primary enhancements. For example, expanding the maximum departure weight as well as payload. However, Boeing enjoys the benefit of perhaps seeing everything that worked well with the Airbus advancement and adding them to their own recipe. They additionally enjoy the benefit of being likely the best option for aircrafts who mean to resign or supplant their Tri-7 Armada. However, again, this isn't set in stone one way or the other. It will be an intriguing one. Yet the 787X certainly has the stuff to take the spotlight from the A350.